interesting choice by Cloud9 in the beginning of what could be a very peculiar experiment on their side. As Z9 tries to defend, Leaf is able to pick up one, but everything else falls apart around him. E United swarming the site and taking full control. C9 is now down to just two players. It'll be their Killjoy, and it'll be Leaf, who's playing as Reyna. That's Vice and Leaf trying to get back into the site for C9. Yeah, that's not looking good for C9 in this round. Not like this is normally a round that they're supposed to win by any means. But this was well done by E United. Good angle from Easy there to catch Vice is just kneecap, it seemed like. And it looks like United will be able to keep four players alive, unless Leaf has to say about it. And there we go, Gold. But looks like they've got a really nice set play for us here, actually. Great utility coming out from them. They got all over this site, but they did take a casualty in the mix. It's a one for one, actually. And Showtime, he's all the way here at Heaven right now. Oh, just spams through the smoke and gets Leaf right there. That's a kill that I don't think he was really supposed to get, but Sunny pushing out now, taking the initiative on his own, makes it a 3v3. Inside the cyber cage, Mitch tries One to strike. Remaining. Quick shots coming out, but a response from turn up. And now, it's Joseph. 1v2, can we see Sunny get on the scoreboard here? There you go, all right. Sunny goes for the wide swing. He's, uh, actually, Effies may have found a home somewhere else at this point. Who knows? It's tough to say, but there's definitely free agents out there. Even at one point in time, our boy Lasky coming in from the CS scene could have been an option. Turn up, able to get the first one with the Hunter's Fury Scourge is there with the Sheriff. A nice headshot as well. A response again coming in from Cloud9. It's also Sunny, Ooh. but Showtime with the quick placement of the knives, doling Fight out planted. damages. It's down to just one. It's Vice, Daniel Kim, 1v4. Good damage dealt to two, but two ults available. Empress and Bladestorm, which is currently active. Yeah, at this point, Vice, I mean, it'd be, it'd be great to see him get something done here, but a couple kills wouldn't be bad, just for the economic implications. So he's got one right there. This is looking well in favor of E United. easy has got the good location, good setup. Actually, kind of a long-range stinger shot. And they're going to be contested, though, at the main right now. Got Leaf. Pushing on forward. Looking for something. Actually, doesn't get anything at all. Two for two. This is a battle for B main control. And Sunny, he actually uses his ultimate, but there's no one there to capitalize. And Sunny, he's using the Marshall to great effect. He gets the one. But now things get difficult. That was probably the situation he needed to convert just a little bit more on. Because it's a 2v1, he has 38 HP, and... Oh, United to push into him! No way! No way! Alright, Joseph does take him down. I thought Sunny had the line up there, and really, one... Having a vac moment there as the crosshair almost lined up with the offer who is deep on mid. Oh. Relics just starts to fire away toward Pat and ends up picking off Joseph. Not sure if he heard a footstep on the leap to get up on the banister. But now Scourge is trying to move in and there's a good trade setup. So they hear the back off, the backpedaling from Relics going around the corner of the tree room. They think they can advance further and Leaf is waiting just around the bend. So it's a nice setup that allows Cloud9 to find an early two player advantage. Yeah, that's just a great setup from C9. Good game sense from Relics as well to enable that whole situation. The spam through dark cover, but easy. He slotted himself towards middle again. He's been the lurker for them in prior rounds. It hasn't found much success, but this time it has to. They want any way back into this round. He needs to do something. He needs to get activated here. And so he will actually flank. Oh, is there a timing here? Mm, oh, just then he spotted right when he's rounding the corner. Maybe something could have come if that weren't the case. Now it's just turn up 1v4. He gets one. He needs to get an ace to win this round. And this is, there's just no chance. They know exactly where he is. About this before, the audio masking capability of Hunter's Fury to allow that player into that position and get past the enemy line. Here comes I the defender, Killjoy. So the fear is this ult is huge. You literally have to run. This is why Killjoy's ult is so insanely good on this map. All they have to do is defend. They're all going to get the oh. team. And all three of them have been trapped inside the Killjoy. It's three kills coming in for Cloud9. It's masterfully set up by Cloud9 as Vice delivers with a fatal blow despite being dead. <laughs> you know, able to get in position like they needed. Here, they're going to try and lead in with the Leer, but Relics wisely steps inside, don't cover. 
at least for the moment, survives, gets one kill before being taken out. Four on three. Oh, there's the lurk from Easy. It's had some troubles prior to this one, but he finally finds a frag with that. And he's out. He's all out of there. 4v2 situation. They do finally catch that lurk in Easy. But this is still a very good position for United. 3v2. Vice, he knows that there's one right there. Greets turn up, actually. Okay, wait. He may be able to isolate these fights out, but Scourge takes him out with the swiftness there. And Sunny picks up the Operator. Okay. Still giving this one a go. Oh, just can't hit that shot right there. The quick scope wasn't accurate enough. And Scourge... You'd think, like, it's not like CS, where you lose a player, and for the most part, you you can swap your roles pretty much the same. Like, you see the way it's shifted, it's changed the dynamic. Typically, Mitch would be the player to be playing as a Killjoy, but now it's Vice, and Relics is playing as Omen, which I'm pretty sure was what Relics was mostly playing before. At times, you'd see him play Raze. But just, like, looking at how it changes things up, it's pretty interesting. Now, here's Sunny with a quick retake trying to get back in the site. It's not even really a retake. They never really fully surrendered control. Sunny with a nice flashpoint to get through dark cover and get into the site. It's three on three, but they got to concern themselves with Empress being utilized by United. All three players are here for United. They're stuck. There's a great... Ten seconds left. But they have the bomb site now. Spike's going down in just a second. And this is a three on three post plan out of really nowhere, other than just waiting. Yeah, that's a pretty open plant as well. So it gives them a lot of defensibility. Now that dark cover smoke fades over towards the door. Scourge is in a absolutely terrible spot, but if Scourge can get a kill, there's self-heal available as is Shadows Dismiss. Traffic. So there's opportunities for escape and preventative measures to keep him alive just a little while longer. He's got the line of sight currently held, but Relics reads that one like a book. Here comes the take, attempting to dive in. It's going to be Vice as Killjoy coming out of A main as his supporting player, but going around that cyber cage is making things difficult here as Relics realizes the cyber cage has faded. 8-4 will be your half time. We recently bring in a new coach as well, and James IRL coming into the CF team. Maybe James is heavily involved. I, I really don't know to be certain. Here they try to make their way in. The tripwire gives away the position of Vice, who gets dropped with a nice little burst in the classic. Playing on the other side of the smoke, though, is Mitch, who's waiting. A United looked solid in the first half, but the pistol round is coming up all cloud nine, as now it's down to only two on the attempted retake, but it's one of the best players, a player you'd want in that position in Scourge, who's now left alone. Yikes. Take a seat, Mitch, as a nice headshot comes out from the ghost of Scourge. Now the flash being the leer from him allows him to get up a little bit further I mean, he survives way longer than you for North America and for Europe. Not so much for the extended regions like Southeast Asia and the like. Here on the retake, easy trying to get in with just a left. pistol. Has to be careful. There's targets right around the corner, but with 30 seconds left, they desperately need to get on site to try and uh, plant the spike. That's a big pickup, but they really need to turn up to do more from inside Boathouse. They needed a follow-up kill there, and it doesn't happen as Sunny dives in with the stinger and that fast fire rate is just too much it's overwhelming for a player holding a pistol dark cover will come in towards the one side of boathouse and a cloud burst on the other that gives them cover to sneak into the site but they're taking a close range battle again against stingers it's like the worst possible place to find yourself in good smg work from showtime to pick off sunny but now it's down to two and they just spotted showtime on site trying to sneak their way in vice is playing this one smart just tucking in the corner Still, it comes down to one. So that's a bloody round. The A site, actually. So I love this move from Cloud9. They actually do detain the player over on B, but they exploit an over-rotation that comes out. Unfortunately, the spike gets dropped before the door goes down, so that's still coming in here. Or the likes of the United, but this is a masterful pinch, and it puts all the pressure on Joseph, who had already found one through the door. This was just really well set up. It's her weaponry, but at the same time, it's going to even up the scoreline. United's impressive start has been wiped away as we're back at potential even scoreline following the outcome of this round. I mean, you've still got Scourge, who's just been just dirty. A quick shot on the Sheriff, and you can see exactly what we're talking about. Had a chance as well for a freebie. Oh, and then a follow up on the Leaf. This is insane shooting coming out from Reyna for E United. Easy's on the flank, might be able to pick up a kill on the exit. Actually, might be able to get both, as they're going to be running right at him. So there's the first, Pistol comes out, dink shots, 
Let the spike do the damage. Mostly a B main take, and there we go. All right, it looks like this is going to be the full side exec coming out, but Scourge is there to greet them. One kill for him already. He's able to destroy the Leer, but he's not able to get anything else. Turn up through the wall, though, gets some damage done, and Easy picks up two. E United making quick work of this round, and that was looking pretty damage early on. Now, remember, last time they did this, it was a fake. They faked the play on the other side of the map. Now, you hear the ults going off. Again, Killjoy's ult loud enough to cancel out the audio cue that comes from Relics. So Relics is able to use Into the Shadows to get behind enemy lines. Now Mitch is lurking up Catwalk. This is the opposite of what they did last time. Last time, they went for a B fake with an A take. And they lurked up mid. This is going to be very difficult for United to get back into. They have the Empress, but will they even decide to use it is the question. Leaf just waiting right here for them to cascade out the top. It's going to be a waterfall retake as all players coming in from the same location, all coming from up top. Turn up the first one. Relics with an immediate response. Easy chiming in as well as the volley goes back and forth and brings us down to a two on two. Horns locked right now on the exchange, but it's going to be E United who, at least for the time being, retain control. Oh. And Easy comes in with a quick execution on device. And enough time left on the spike as well, about three to get to this point. We'll see if they can keep it moving again as we come into round 24. Good damage being dealt thus far to the Cloud9 members. You can see their kill choice pretty well on his gear. The attempted push. Mitch, the first one to find bloodshed on the spike, but it's stacking up in favor of E United. Everything falling apart in this final round. It's all up to Relics, who's 316 back and forth. Now a quick shot coming out onto Joseph while checking both sides and a fake TP as well. I love that move. They might now second guess where he's coming from, but both players huddled up in Boathouse. There's still another shrouded step. Dark cover as well is available. The door is going to get opened, actually. The spike's going to get picked up. Ten Relics seconds left. Looking to find a kill here. Has to move in fast, and it's just looking like it's going to be oh. impossible. E United, hang! Turn up may have an opportunity with that recon bolt, but doesn't find anything. Spike will be planted by Sunny. Spike and oh, planted. that's a great shock dart. Great damage there. But oh, there's actually some great info being attained by Joseph, who had a very sly camera there. And that's still actually available, I'm pretty sure. I don't think they took it down just yet. Leaf, though, getting the first kill of the round with a turret. Gets one of his own now. And e United, they're all over the site now. They are so close, up and personal. But Leaf is doing it all. A 4K from him as he, they leave him on the site by his lonesome. It's down to a 1v2. Easy on the site, trying to make this one work. Dark cover on top of the spike. The nice fault line coming out as well. Easy's just going to sit inside and currently doesn't really have an option. Burst fire coming through, but Vice. By distance game away. Getting right in their faces. Right there. He's going to be joined by Sunny. I am already really liking this post plan setup for C9. Itch, just lurking in this spot, just chilling, hanging out, waiting for them to push through, hiding around the corner. There's that turret slowing them down, potentially, yeah. if they decide to peek. Just does a little bit of chip damage, but it does actually tag them and slow them down. Now, that's the bread and butter of a Killjoy right there. Nano Swarm does so much damage, but things are falling apart here. You mentioned how strong this host plant was, but... Cloud9 is not really using it that well. Unfortunately, though, e United didn't stick the spike. They now have no. to go for it. Does he have the time? No, the round's been lost. They're not going to get the spike defuse. Oh. That is a huge play from Relics and a bad, actually, for e United's race player. But this should be the, the spike planted. And oh, Leaf just keeps going on forward. They haven't actually gotten the spike down. And e United have rotated in at this point. This felt a little bit out. slow for, yeah. for C9. And they're getting picked apart. They they will port out. They will get to this A site. But I'm surprised they didn't go with the uh, the initial lockdown attempt. And oh, what's this? Moments there in place. And Scourge is able to recover with the showstopper as well. It's just down to Mitch. One v three. He's able to take down easy. Updrafts to get some good vantage point, but he can't actually see the spike. And e United break that one down. And it looks like when we were asking. Are they going to be able to find the mental fortitude to bounce back? They do just that. Even after losing a huge opening pick with Leaf getting that one lead and carry that to victory. We could be going to that third and final map, which would be split if I'm not mistaken. And again, you mentioned it in in order. The maps were supposed to get better for United, but thus far, it hasn't looked like it. 
Now, Scourge and Showtime both chime in with kills of their own, and they do give their team a player advantage. It's a four on three with E United up. 4v3 now. C9 decide they aren't favoring their chances towards the B site. Easy's already here in U-Haul. Does he have the paranoia? Could he actually bust that out right now? Oh, that's, oh, that's so well timed, but he's only able to get one. Mitch Wall nearsighted is actually able to find the return kill. And it's a two Five on three enemy. situation. But Joseph remaining. is right here, hot on the heels of Mitch from that U-Haul position, and he will clean up. Sunny to fall, and E United pick up. E United. Pretty heavy on the A side defense. Look at the setup oh. right now. The right click is off the money for Mitch. The paranoia comes out and blinds them completely. A little bit of an underhand nade toss on short, but Showtime's up in heaven, preventing them from being able to push out far at all. This has started out so nicely, and it just keeps getting better. Now, Vice with a nice shot on the Guardian. We didn't see it, but you could understand the, the situation, how it transpired. It was over on short, but it's down to two. It's him and it's his teammate playing as the killjoy. Oh, but look Again, at the spike. the interesting swap of Leaf, and yeah, the spike. Oh, there's no one here. It's in Vice's hands, and he's all the way over on B. Like you said, it's empty. Area. This is a free plant. Leaf's going to be on the lurk. Are they going to clear this out? Oh, the teleporter's there. That's actually going to create so much pressure for Vice, because he doesn't know when that player from Hookah's coming out, and this should be around done and dusted, unless some... Uh, no, there's no way United have another catastrophic failure. They know exactly where Leaf is at this point. Easy is still in the teleporter room. And, oh my god, he spams him. No way, Leaf. There's no actual way that this happens. I'm sorry. I thought I thought he got the spike down. That's though. With just a four-man short hit. They're out quick with Mitch dashing on forward. Oh, okay. They clear out U-Haul with that and Relix actually finds the opening kill. There's so many smokes on the site. Relix is able to find another onto easy. Now Turnup is trying to desperately recover the situation. But the numbers advantage still lies with C9. 4v2 now. Spike planted. And Showtime's posted up on the angle. He knows that there was a player right over here. Turnup actually with the shock dart is able to get Relix out of the position. And they should know at this point, they may have a feeling that all of these players are to their right. They're not 100% certain. But another shock dart comes out and Showtime takes down Sunny. 2v2 now, and this is looking actually very doable for United. Will they read this flank from Mitch, though? That's the big question. Showtime just going to go with the full stick, though. Will he keep it down? Mitch is able to clean that up, though, and he gets the last as well. That was looking a little hairy for C9 towards the end of things. To no real effect, because he couldn't swing off of that. Spike planted. Spike planted. 4v4. United, they're already so close, and here's the ultimate coming out. Easy has got a no man's land right now, and Sunny, I mean, it doesn't matter if you have 200 ping. If there's a player stunned like that, that's a freebie for him. And it looks like the Killjoy's coming out as well. That may just secure this round for C9. There is still some time for United to work with, but it is, uh... This bomb is ticking away right now, and Sunny with the swing again. He's actually... Starting to learn how to harness that high ping. The full B hit is sure to commence here for C9. So let's see what United is able to do. Oh, the Hunter's Fury comes out, and he's able to find one onto Sunny. That's a big opener. Makes their job a lot easier on the site itself. And turn up, he's going to keep going with Showtime. Showtime in the smoke, actually. He's able to pick up another. Vice in now the 1v3 situation. This is not looking good, as there's only 12 seconds left, and there's paint all over the floor. It's such a messy scene in Vice. He's got to try to remedy it. Four seconds remaining. He needed to get that one. At this point, there's just no time for him. And Turnup finds a three. Now that the second half is set to begin. Paranoia coming into you all, or Lamb's area, if you will. A response as well from the other Ooh. side. The knife comes out from Leaf, and he's looking, trying to find some damage as the pistol had run dry. I will say this. The knife animation in this game makes melee kills really difficult. Oh yeah, it's uh, you ever see a knife round in this? It is so hard to watch actually. 3v5 <laughs> though, retake, Revealing Mitch, area. taking down Turnup, with the wall bang there, and oh my god, Sunny jumping right into the fray, <laughs> armed with the flash point, and he just gets taken down for that, but the defuse, oh, it was actually so close, Vice though, he gets three on this, it's at halfway, if he's able to get this kill, he could actually finish this out, but Easy is right there, and Vice is joined by Zeta and Mitch. And
trying to scout one of them out. But that's showtime is this close? They don't. That's a freebie, but it goes one for one. So it should still favor United. Oh, Sunny, perfect flashpoint right there. No, able to take down turn up. And on the site right now is Scourge. He just flew out there. And Sunny is. Oh, nope. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> yeah, I got a little concerned too. <laughs> it was a little worrying, yep. But he was able to uh, figure that out that he was going to nail himself. And just two United players remain, and they're both stuck in hookah right now. This is a really awkward situation for them, and it gets even more awkward when they're nearsighted. At this point, C9 are rotating nearly every player here. There's three B players still. They're keeping Leaf on that A site in case of a backtrack by United, and it does look like they will be left. opting for that. The utility is here to prevent any sort of U-Haul control, but will United expect there to be a player in that position? Looks like they're planning pretty much in the default spot. Last this means Leaf will be activated, and he will find the final two on the round. 8-7 to seven score line. We'll see if they continue to move in that fashion. There goes the dash in by Showtime, though, with the ult. The Hunter Fury pop. Oh, oh no! How do you miss that point blank range? You gotta connect on those. Vice from distance also able to chime in as well. Now, Scourge is there with the pickup on the leaf. But this should have gone so much better. That first kill should have gone their direction with the jet knives. Instead, they're gonna have to take the TP, and they don't realize that Sunny is still here. He's anchored, hunkered down on the B site, waiting in the garden for them to just try to make their way out. And this should be an easy first kill, and it is. It's now all down to Scourge, the all-star player from E United, looking for openings. Oh, that's so unfortunate. The door shuts as soon as he gets there with the- From CT Heaven and the lower CT spot. This, this just makes the retake so much more doable, and I wouldn't be surprised if C9 are able to break this down because of that. There comes the ultimate, the Killjoy ult as well, but oh my god, United is actually fighting back beautifully in this one. 1v3 situation. Mitch, I mean, he's going to pick these players off as they try to run away from that ultimate here, and he will try to... Spike tap! Oh, he takes down Scourge! He knows where that last player is now. Cloudburst is out. This... Shoots the camera though, and that's going to alert the opposing player to the fact that he is not sticking the spike, and he just can't pick up that last one. It was a great attempt by Mitch and C9 in general. Nice paranoia. Paint shells comes out, but they couldn't pick up the orb the way that they wanted to. Another dark cover coming in. Shock darts going out. So much presence. Position in showers. They're trying to pick up the orb so that the jet will have the ult, and that should unlock it as soon as they pick it up. I guess it wasn't that close. I thought maybe they were one notch away, but maybe not. Hunter's Fury instead being sent out. Maybe that's the one they were going for, as it'll deal some damage to the players on site, but nothing is fatal, unfortunately, for the side of E United. It's all been reduced down to one. It's currently Showtime, who's stuck in the corner in showers. A 1v3. The spike is in his possession, but good luck getting away from Finch, who's currently found a 4K. You know, it's interesting to see how things have shaped up here. Like you mentioned, Mitch, who basically has to fill in the shoes or the, the void left by tens. And playing in that jet role, that aggressive initiator, the duelist that they need. And it seems to be working out, but if, you know, they have this potential second duelist in Leaf who could be doing you know, similar things, not necessarily rocking the op so much, but definitely with a rifle. But here is Killjoy, it's it, it's working. Again, we've already talked remaining. about it. I don't want to just continue chiming on about it, but Cloud9's clicking right now. This is the potential that this Spikes roster here. could have, given time. I mean, it's not like this is all set in stone. No one knows if Leaf is going to become a player. Yeah, is actually an option for them moving forward. That would be the player currently in server as Sunny. And United are looking to do a bit of a... Smokes are out. Vice is up close and personal, though. Showstopper there to meet and greet him. Scourge finds one, but Relics is there for the trade. It is pandemonium on the B site, but C9 is capitalizing off of the chaos. Yes. United, though, getting scouted out by that alarm bot. And C9 has already rotated in. There's three players towards B right now. They know that there's no mid presence because Leaf has been holding that angle for the entire round. 
Now they're all over the site. Here we go. Showtime on the site right now. Flashpoint comes out, actually. And it looks like Unite's coming out on top. Three kills for them. Lee from the heavens will find one in return. But United, they have the spike planted. They are all over this. It's just down to Leaf and Mitch. They've been the stars thus far for C9. After the absence of tens and Leaf, he's gonna find his first fight. Oh, he spots the barrel. There's the lineup actually. Only gets showtime. It's just down to Mitch. And, oh, he's so far back actually. Unable to find the immediate trade, but he will push on forward. One enemy oh, remaining. He's going to find easy. Oh, does he know this player's in the back right? Yes, I think he spotted him when he dashed. Will he be able to get the kill? He will! What a retake there by Mitch and company. Good stuff for C9 to get that one. An important... The push into the B site. It'll be Vice who's there ready to greet him. Vice actually manages to line up quite a few as they just form a, a line and it's just one, two, three. Easy kills for Vice. Relics will peek out off the back of a flashpoint coming in. Sunny and the spam not going to net any. Let's go. See it happen. Showtime. Relics takes point though in this situation. Okay. Scourge has got the Leer. Boombox comes out. Oh, the utility war begins. Showtime, he gets so up close and personal. He's in the dark cover and Showtime actually beats up Mitch. In the knife on knife duel and united is all over this b side this is feeling like the pistol round and how easy it was for them to get there but are we going to see a repeat with the retake relics finds one one v three for vice he has the lockdown he could opt to use that here it seems so risky though seems like such a hard situation for vice He's got his turret as well, but he's worrying about lurkers here, and that's going to burn some valuable clock as he tries to defuse this spike, and it doesn't feel like he's really interested in actually going for this. Just going to be going for some damage here. Really expects there to be a lurk. Really thinks that's coming. If he's able to find a couple of kills here, it would be pretty good to ensure that E United are not on great economy. He lets one pass at Heaven. We'll be able to take one down Showtime. Remaining. That's the Operator down, so they won't actually be able to keep that one. Ooh, almost get- In mid. There's not really anyone pressing. They have full oh, Heaven okay. control if they want it, but Mitch is getting aggro over on A main to allow the orb pickup. So orb control currently for Cloud9 looking solid over on A. Whereas B, we've seen some, uh, some contest in B main for that orb control. But it has generally favored E United. Now what's going to be interesting is you've got easy moving in. There's the alarm bot giving away the position and the peak comes out. With the flashpoint, that couldn't have been better planned. Well set up from Cloud9 to utilize that flash. Unfortunately, they do lose relics in battle. Leaf is still back in mid. Nice tailwind to get away from the fight that was coming in that direction. Good damage coming out from Sunny. A little bit of teleport action after the body dies. As you can start to see the effect of that ping. But it's down to just one. It's showtime. What started as somewhat promising for E United has quickly fallen apart, and Cloud9 continues in their dominant fashion with left. four players live. Ooh. Enemy kill. Showtime taking down Leaf. Still has some time to work with. The flashpoint's there in his face, though, and they're hunting him down, but ooh, yo. C9, you might need to... Okay, all right. They, they got the situation <laughs> under control. Expect to see more of. Because if so, I can see it working out. I can only see performance getting better for Zeta. If he's got reliable pain, I, I really can. Here, though, we'll see Leaf only getting one kill, surprisingly getting picked off by Scourge, who's found a second as well. Scourge, deal work, looking oh. great. Showtime with the op as well. All of a sudden, the round's oh. falling apart, and they're going to be moving back into B. Now, there is Alarm Bot up in heaven. That'll give away some positions. This is going to be an interesting play, too. Yikes. Mitch versus Showtime. Oh. Mitch is holding the angle, waiting, so it's pretty much a freebie. But still, the B site is going to be lost, and the spike will be planted momentarily. There is a Defender Killjoy coming out. They should have time to go ahead and secure the spike, spike but how planted. far away can they get? One enemy remaining. That's what they're going to try to do. And Scourge is going to be able to get just on the edge of that one. Nearly gets a shot out, but Mitch able to duck down and survive. The Killjoy ult definitely proving to be worth its weight in gold. As Cloud9 has found now six rounds on the defense, and E United continues to struggle that smoke. The interesting thing with how that shaped up, and we'll talk about that in just a second, here, it actually looks like it's already going to pick up with Showtime pushing up fast with the knives out. Bladestorm being utilized, there's so much smoke swirling. Relics is right Ooh. in front of them, though. 
Showtime had no idea, so Relics is able to get two free kills. And Mitch is now right around the corner with the AWP, and that smoke is the last remaining safety cover. Grounded. The safety net for Showtime One goes from the peak. Remaining. And oh. now it's just Mitch capping body after body. Great shots coming out from the AWP. Did Mitch put on his Wardell AWP Academy t-shirt today? Is that what's going on? I think that might be it. I mean, he is feeling it right now. Obviously, memes aside, Mitch is a solid player, and he's really stepped up into this role, and he's been filling <laughs> Relics, finding three, wants to get the fourth, and he's got it. Relic says, I heard you guys talking about my boy Mitch. Don't forget. I'm time for them. And now Mitch, he's made his way to A. He just feels like he, this guy just keeps choosing the right spot to be in at every time. Takes down Joseph as well. And okay, Relics. All right. Busting out the Odin there. Now the showstopper on top of it all. He's flying towards them. And oh, he can't nail the shot. But at this point, e United, they are just trapped. It's two of them left. And Relics, he just wants to keep pushing on forward. Okay. Mitch, he wants to keep. Oh, okay, Mitch. Just trying to get in the action. But easy does uh, make him respect him just a little bit. Leads to follow and stepped up at times. An incredible performance from Cloud9 here on this yeah. final map, though, as they've been championed by the man they call Mitch. As they try to defend here and close out the series, it's down to just two yeah. for E United. It's Breach and Reyna on the defense here. Cloud9 going for the spike plant in the four on two. Yeah. All right. This is not looking good for United. They've got to find something like that. Relics is there to greet them, and of course it's Mitch to finish the 